Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today I have a review of Alenium's Ascend Tour Edits. And this is going to be a relatively quick EP review and, I guess, rating, just because they are quick four-song edits from his Ascend Tour, not new original songs, and half of these are actually mixed with other artists' productions. But before we get into the actual songs and EP as a whole, I'm really happy that Alenium has done this, that he has come and produced and published online just some of the tour edits and stuff mixes from his songs from his tour. I think people like Maddie on and Porter Robinson could really take some notes on this because a lot of people love their live sets and Alenium is a pretty solid live. I've only heard him once online, not actually live. I was going to go see this concert, but I couldn't due to scheduling reasons. But uh, yeah, so this was a great, I guess, little listen to of an EP. I don't think the point of this EP was to really come and create all this brand new product. Obviously, it's just called tour edits. They're not even tour remixes or anything like that. It's just small little edits that happened in the tour, which makes this kind of hard to rate and talk about, but let's get into it. Up first is his Broken Ones edit, and this is the only song on the four song EP that is still the original song. It's essentially a VIP remix or a remix done by the original producer, and that is what this song is. Rather than being his more cheery, future bass kind of melodic vibe, he goes for a pretty hard, almost dubstep trap feel and genre for this edit. And the second drop even goes into a hardcore, very fast paced, dung, dung, dung. And uh, it's a pretty fun edit. Obviously, it works really well for a festival or any concert that, I mean, especially a tour like this. And uh, I think it's a pretty good edit to the song. It, I don't think it's better than the original, but for the sake of what this song's purpose is, I think it's quite strong. Up next is Crashing vs. Destiny, and Crashing the song by Alenium on his Ascend album, and Destiny being a collab between Blank and 1788L, which I think that's how you actually pronounce it. I don't know if it's 1788L, but... It's the two of them, so it's Destiny and Crashing, and the two of them kind of go head-to-head -head in this song, where there's only just one drop, it's m that melodic build, similar to, I guess, Slander does. And uh, it's a, the drop is a good mix of both, and the vocals throughout are, I mean, they're a lot more Crashing than Destiny, and that makes a lot of sense because Destiny's build is quite a bit different than Crashing's and uses a lot of just the... Uh, the quiet destiny, like <laughs> that's said in the song. Uh, but the drop is pretty good. And again, I don't think this is better than either of the originals. Um, I actually, I would say this on par with Crashing's original. I didn't think it was phenomenal. Thought it was good, but not as, yeah, not the best of Alenium. But uh, this is, again, a good tour edit. Next up is Good Things Fall Apart versus Sad Songs. So this is a, I guess, collaboration between himself his two songs, Sad Songs and Good Things Fall Apart. And this one is a really interesting feeling for me because these are probably, well, Good Things Fall Apart is my favorite Alenium song of all time. And Sad Songs, I think, was number three on this album for me. So I really, really liked both of the songs. So I was excited to see the two of them mesh together and mesh well. But, I mean, they did, but it feels like a pretty generic DJ edit. I've got some turntables up there, so I've got a little a bit of experience in DJ myself, I think, almost six years now. And I could probably pretty easily pull this off or something really close to it. There's not a whole ton of real variety in this mix, and it feels like it's sad songs, and then it's good things fall apart, and then it's sad songs, and good things fall apart, and then a mi little mix of the two at the end. It didn't feel like it was like a, a really... Like, it didn't feel like it was a montage or a mashup of the two songs. I felt like it was just an easy transition. And I mean, again, it's a tour edit. So am I asking for too much for trying to get two things here? Should I just be happy that I've got Good Things Fall Apart and Sad Songs in one song, one track together that I can listen to six minutes? It's kind of up in the air and I'm still trying to figure out, I guess, exactly how I feel about the song. Up next is Gorgeous versus All Together. And again, just like the last song, it's two songs by Elenium or Elenium, however you say it, actually. Uh, from the Ascend album that are kind of mashed together. And I, I wouldn't say mash, again, it's a versus, it feels like it's one or the other. This one definitely less like the one before, Good Things Fall Apart and Sad Songs. It, uh, it does blend the two more cohesively, but it's in significantly shorter amount of time. It's in a third of the runtime. Good Things Fall Apart versus Sad Songs was six minutes, and this is about a minute 45. So it's a really, really quick edit. And I don't, I yeah, know I didn't watch this tour, but this tour would have definitely, it would have been a really quick part of uh, a transition between songs and just a really quick hit of both of the songs together. 
But uh, yeah, this song, I, it's okay. It's a lot of fun. Um, I really like Gorgeous, especially Memba's remix. And so I think Memba's remix almost spoiled this for me. And I like that style of it so much better that I think this is just, uh, it's just average. So talking about the EP as a whole, it's really interesting to kind of note and discover where I want to score this and or how I need to really think about it when I came in. I did a lot of processing and figuring out, oh, if the songs are all... Like, how am I rating this? Am I rating it by how the songs are individually? Am I rating it by how much better the edits are from the original? About how they play into the show, the tour? It's this weird kind of mix of everything that I'm not 100% sure how to score it exactly and where exactly to go with it. But I'm really happy that he's produced something like this and put this out to the public. He said that he was working on this kind of stuff during the quarantine season and just might as well have released it. And again, people like Maddie on and Porter Robinson, they really need to post things like this. Fans will be insanely happy, and I mean, I particularly would love it. But in terms of where this is, I don't know if this is necessarily my favorite that could be of edits. I think it's a strong forerunner for what could be a lot more producers, especially bigger named producers in the electronic EDM industry producing EPs like this and small, maybe even entire album or tour edits, just like Daft Punk did with Daft Punk Alive 2007. I would love to see something like that. I guess they were the, <laughs> I wouldn't say the original pioneers. I'm sure people did it before that, but that was the best live album of the year, won the Grammy. And uh, yeah, I would just love to see a lot more like this. Again, this album is a little hard for me to kind of discern where I want to put it because the Ascend album as a whole is my least favorite of all of the Elenium albums. I think it goes Ashes is the best, and then Awake is just below that, and then this one, Ascend, is even further. Um, I, I don't know. I think I maybe just because I, I wouldn't say grew up with Elenium uh, and his Ashes, every single song of that I would just play through automatically on repeat all the time, and I didn't really do that or feel that with Ascend. I think I wasn't as picky with my music back then, so maybe that's just a sign of that too. But uh, yeah, so this is this is a hard EP for me to gauge and score wise. Um, but ultimately, I think I'm landing on a six. But thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Bowtied Media. This has been a quick review of Ascend Tour Edits by Elenium. Uh, if you want to see anything else, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you liked and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in another video.